Good evening and welcome to the edition of Beard Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beard Dad. Gonna do, I think, one more beer review for today. Um, and this is gonna be a Cloud Water beer. It's a uh, Cloud Water's a, a Beautiful Horse. Got this out of Barton's today and it weighed in at five pounds and fifty whole English pence. If I get the scrape this off, I'll tell you when it's canned on and whatnot. So, uh, canned on 25th of the 7th, 19, fresh by the 14th of the 10th, 19, and best before the 14th of the 11th, 19, and it says so there. It says on the back, by the way, this is, this is, is an 8.5% beer, again, it says so there. It says on the back, in between the sharp turn of a single track country lane, just wide enough to park a coach of brewers and the celebrated oyster farm is a beautiful horse. If you have an upright and kind attitude, you might be able to stroke its nose. Relax with this fruity, fruity clean and smooth double IPA and a single and, and a plain and a, and a, and a plan a, a planet trip to Sligo. So that's what it says. Uh, and that is, to be fair, one of the most amazing can of, cans I've seen, can art I've seen on a can water beer in a very long time. It is beautiful. So, without further ado, let's crack this open, put it through its paces, see what it's all about. So let's pop it up. Okay, so beer of last week we've got ourselves a hazy, cloudy, orange beer with a very thin, one tiny little finger of head, a um, bright white as you can see, no particulates, no filters in it whatsoever. It looks good from what you're seeing. It's bright orange. From what I'm seeing, it's a it's a, it's a beige orange, the like sort of cascade that way through. Still looks good though. So, oh, let's get a nose. That's what we can smell. Ooh. I smell loads of peaches. Loads of stone fruit. It's peaches, apricots, that type of that, that type of thing going on. It smells beautiful. There's a bit of there's a bit of pie in there. But it's a bit of uh, resin type type of caper going on. It smells lovely. It really does. It's like it's sweet. And then this this piney resinous aroma. Okay, no. Let's go for the old uh, body and carb. Medium mouthfeel. Nice, soft, sweet uh, um, carbonation. Not bad at all. Actually, it's got, it's got a lovely, real, it's cow water. It's, it's got a lovely mouthfeel to it, let's be honest. Right, let's go for a big gob full. Let's go for the taste. Oh. It's a strange combination, but you've got a peach, juicy ripe peach, ripe apricot, stone fruit, kind of front end but at the same time you've also got this this sort of piney resinous stuff going on at the same time I do have a big mouthful sweet <laughs> there, there comes there comes the pie there's the resin Sweet at the front, juicy sweet stone front, starting on the at the front end. As that fades, this piney resinous back end starts to develop, and it's not massive. It really isn't. But you still kind of got a trail of sweet. So 
fruit, snow fruit, fades away, but leaves this, this delicate, delicate sweetness. This dry pine resin builds up, but it still meets the sweetness. Do you know, it balances, back end balances really well. It is absolutely beautiful. It is so nice. This is just this is just chilled, so it's probably around about around about the eight eight nine eight degrees cold. Uh, but it's banging, absolutely banging. If you like peachy beers, this is nice. If you like resinous beers with the, on, on the back end, this is good. If you like them both, this is in your this is right in your ballpark. It's so juicy, residency, but still this track of sweetness runs right through it. And it's really, really good. Excuse me. Beautiful. I've seen I've, I've had beers before where breweries have tried to get this peaches peach juicy sweet ripe and then dry and just not done it. You see the bit all peach. Or it's been all dry, but this is balanced superbly well. That's just it's, it's exceptional. This is my black. This is my beers like this. Oh, my cloud water are the best, if not the second best brewery in the world. There is nothing wrong with this, and it, it challenge some of the stuff they do challenges your taste buds and, you, and challenges senses. To be fair, this is this is not one of them, but this is one of those that go. You know, yeah, you read the back, and it, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So it says aromas, a uh, bull peach. Uh, Hop, bull peach, and business hop, uh, hop notes, followed by pine. And you know what? That's exactly what you get. It's exactly what you get. Um, full bodied, smooth, and silky. It is f so smooth, so silky. And it says aftertaste is a uh, prominent, uh, prominent and resinous hop, hop accents. With a lingering peppery characteristic and a little bitterness. Now I don't get the pepper. I must admit, I get the pepperiness. I get sweet peaches, and I get dry pine and resin. But it is superb. It, prob uh, it really, really is. What have we for this? Four, five pound fifty. Bargain for me. An absolute bargain. It really, really is. I don't say the really a lot. So what you should do is have a, have a sweepstake of how many times, or every time you watch one of my reviews and I say really have a drink, you'd be bladdered by 10 minutes. Exceptional stuff, this is exceptional. Oh, what a drink. Cloud water again, another, another absolute massive hit for me. So, a beautiful horse by cloud water. It says it's bright and juicy and it's uh, 8.5 percent. Do I like it? Yes, I do. Would I buy it again? Five pound fifty? Yes, I would. It would recommend it to friends? Yes, I would. Um, Kev Skinley, if you watch it, it's the beer for you. Uh, Frank Tennell, again, you, these ones. Mo, Mo Briscoe, if you watch it, these are the, you want to get your hands on this. This is absolutely stunning. Stunning. Um, if you've had this, let me know what you think. Okay, uh, put a comment below. <whistles> Link to the Cloud Water effort also below. Thumbs up if you like the video. Thumbs down if you don't. New subscribers, hit that button down there. Oh, this could be the, maybe the last one. I might have another one in me. I don't know. I'll see. Helio.